welcome back to round eight of Club 50, aka products I have used at least 50 times. So obviously this is the lowest tier in the pro uh, the project, therefore it's reaching much higher rounds than the others, but you know, we do have other ones ready to film right now too. So without any further ado, most of these are empties, but they did make Club 50. So we have the Bath and Body Works Autumn Spice and Clementine Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This one was pretty good. Um, not sure I would necessarily buy it again, but I did enjoy it while I had it, so maybe I would. I don't know. I would consider it, possibly. We have the Chapstick Total Hydration with Essential Oils in Happy, which is the orange lemon one, which I just had in Lippies of the Week last week. Um, I currently only have this much left in the entire stick. There was far more than just 50 uses on it, but just tracking from when I started counting the uses on everything, it's where I'm currently at with it. But very happy with this one. This one's going swimmingly. I would totally buy it again, just like I would buy the grapefruit one again. And I haven't used up any of the others yet, but like this one a lot. The Bath & Body Works Sweet Strawberry Scoop Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This one I would absolutely buy again if it came back in a heartbeat. This one was so lovely. Just, I couldn't believe how much they nailed a strawberry ice cream scent. Like, not just strawberry, not generic strawberry, not artificial strawberry, but like literally strawberry ice cream specifically. I don't know how they managed it, but they freaking did, and it was impressive, and I loved it. So, there's that one. Uh, we have the Pixie by Petra Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist, which we're down to right here now, so we're we're getting somewhere on it. We're about a little over halfway through. I do really like this one. As you can see, I've got a bunch of use on it. Got to use up the rest still, obvi, but yeah, I like this one a lot. We had the Tarte Shape Tape Eye Cream. This one. I enjoyed it, but for how expensive it is, just for the novelty of having that little silver ball applicator on it, I don't feel like it's worth the price. Like, the product in it is good, don't get me wrong, and it's nice to have that applicator, but the price point on this is so freaking high for what you get, so I was like, mm, I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it on purpose. Like, I think I got this in one of those, like, build your own kit things from Tarte. If it were part of one of those again, I would probably do it because I did enjoy it, but I don't think I would go out of my way to pay the full price for one of these. So, anyhow, there was that. We have the uh, Belief Hungarian Water Essence. I had two of these little mini sizes. Uh, it was okay. It was fine. I, I don't think I would go out of my way to buy this stuff. I mean, again, it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. This I would buy again. The Native Sweet Peach and Nectar Deodorant. This was epic. I'm so sad that it's gone by. I like literally scraped up everything from it to use up every last little bit. So good. Totally gonna buy another one of this because this one was just so damn bomb. Like, so good. So we had that. We have the Bath & Body Works Pineapple Prosecco Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. From pineapple scent from Bath & Body Works, I was pleasantly surprised that I liked this one. Because honestly, I didn't think I was going to. I just liked the bottle. I really just wanted it for that freaking bottle. <laughs> like, cards on the table. Now that it's empty, I don't know how or if I could even reuse that. So it's all a moot point, but they suckered me in with that packaging. Um, would I buy this one again? I don't know. I mean, it was, it was nice. Like, for a pineapple scent, it was nice. Because I'm normally not that big on those, but this one, yeah, I liked so there was that one. We have my Garnier Fructis Color Shield Shampoo. This is like my go-to with colored hair. I've gone through many, many, many bottles of this stuff, but again, just since starting counting on it, it kind of limits how far up in the ranks it's gotten so far, but yeah, it's good stuff. So is the conditioner. And then finally, the Il Masqua Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel. This stuff. I already miss it now that it's gone. Like, this was like the best primer, uh, but at the same time, it had been open and in my collection for multiple years, since like 2018 or 19, so I was like, I need to use this up before it goes bad, and I did, and I loved every last drop of it, but 
kind of spendy, but at the same time, I'm experimenting with other primers now, and honestly, if I don't find another one that I like as much as this one, I may very well buy another one of that. So that was round eight of Club 50. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.